On the latest Scania trucks, you can do several of the daily level checks from the driving seat. Turn on the ignition and as you can see, this truck is telling you the windscreen washer fluid needs topping up. The fuel gauge is under the speedo and the AdBlue level is shown on a gauge by the rev counter. Some models no longer have a dipstick. The oil level is measured electronically and shown on the information display. To see it, press the left arrow in the switch cluster on the right hand side of the steering wheel. This brings up the main menu. Then press the right arrow to scroll along to the right hand settings menu. Select startup checks, then engine oil level, and you can see if the level's okay. Open the front grille using the catch on the driver's door pin. Pull it down to open the grille, then lift it from the hand holes or from the bottom. You'll see the coolant reservoir with the maximum and minimum marks. If you do need to top it up, remember to remove the filler cap carefully if the engine's warm. If you need to add oil, the oil filler is behind the near side cover, and this is a Euro 6 engine, so you must use the special Scania LDF3 oil to keep the diesel particulate filter in good condition. If your truck does still have a dipstick, it'll be located here, just above the oil filler. It's important to remember to close the side panels before you close the front grille, which you do by pulling down on the centre strap. Get the panel to about this position, then simply let it drop. There's no need to slam it, the panel will close and lock itself in place. To get up to clean the windscreen and check the wiper blades, you need a step, and there's one built in, just below the main grille. Simply lower it from the middle, and just below the windscreen there are two grab handles, one either side, so you can steady yourself as you step up, clean the screen, and have a quick check of those wiper blades. To close it, just fold it upwards. There's no lock, once closed, it holds itself in place. The washer fluid is checked electronically, and that message on the dashboard told us we need to top it up. The filler is by the passenger door steps, and there's a handy pull-out spout to avoid spilling fluid on the step. There are several air tanks around the vehicle, and it's always a good idea to drain at least one as part of your daily check to see if water comes out. A slight amount of water is normal, but if a lot of water is present, there may be a fault which should be reported. To help you check the lights, the top right button on the key fob with the side light symbol turns on and off all the lights in sequence. This continues until you press the button again. So, levels and lights are easy to check and you can carry on with the rest of the daily walk around vehicle inspection.